All right, so this next demonstration, we are gonna take a look at jailbreaking the new iPhone 3GS, which is currently running iPhone OS 3, and we are gonna be using the Red Snow tool for an Apple Mac. So take a look at the addresses you see in the actual bar from iPhoneHacks.com, and uh, realistically, it's not a very complicated deployment or update. So we've gone through and already updated um, our software and restored it. This is looking at the actual uh, device in iTunes. So if we click on the device, we can see the details. It's running the software version 3. And uh, we can then go through, minimize this, and run the Red Snow tool. Now, those step-by-step -step details are actually published in our LMS as well. But also at the same time, we've uh, given you the link for the website. This stuff does change regularly. So this is our Red Snow tool now. If we open this up, what we're going to go through is simply uh, selecting where the IPSW is for our current firmware, which is effectively the OS. So we're going to browse. We've saved it on our desktop in a folder called Pornage. And... Uh, that's the iPhone file that we need. And so we'll just open on there. So as you can see, once we open that file, we can verify that it is the correct firmware. As you can see, it's come back with the IPSW being successfully identified. So at this point, we can click Next. It's now preparing the jailbreak, patching the kernel. So it's going to very soon get us to place our phone into the DFU mode, which is the recovery mode effectively, so we can uh, update that. And uh, as you can see, it's giving us the option to install Cydia, or Cydia, depending on how you, you want to pronounce it, as well as IC. So we continue with uh, installing Cydia. And as you can see, um, we've got to put our phone in recovery mode. So we want to disconnect the device from the computer. Turn off the device. Normally holding down the power button is the way you do that. <laughs> So we slide it into off, wait five seconds after the device is fully powered down. And then while holding down the home button, plug the USB cable into the device and then keep holding down the home until connect to iTunes image appears and the Apple logo disappears. So plug it in, although you can't see what's on my screen right now, it's exactly what I'm doing. and that logo disappears. So, mine's jumped up by bringing up my Parallels machine, but as you can see, it's basically uploading exploit now. It waited for the device to reboot. It's then uploading the RAM disk, and on my iPhone, it's coming up with the downloading jailbreak data. And this process really won't take very long at all, so we'll give it a couple more minutes. And we'll just keep talking in the meantime. Remember, folks, one of the major reasons for doing a jailbreak on your phone is so that you get access to a lot of the security tools that are out there, the network tools. And uh, more importantly, you get to use other applications that has not been uh, developed by the iTunes uh, store. So at the end of the day, there's a lot of reasons why you want to unleash some of the other powerful features of your iPhone. Remember, it's got a, almost a 400 megahertz processor, depending on obviously which specific model you have. And um, as you'll see in a few moments, the jailbreaking is almost done. Very straightforward, very easy. And uh, there we have it. So uh, we can just wait a few more minutes for it to complete on my phone. And then uh, we should be good to uh, go. So final will be just to give you a few demos of some of the tools that we can uh, use, which are very, very helpful. But other than that, this was the jailbreak for the Apple iPhone 3GS on OS version 3.